How is that different from the past? So there's been many challenges, economic cycles, uh, change in industries. People who are heading up companies have always known they need to have leadership skills. Why is 2018 so different? Well, I think there's just so many different challenges that if you take the average CEO that they're confronted with, obviously they're under huge pressure to perform. You report on that every single day. Um, they're being told that their employees are an essential part of their point of view building and uh, they need to reflect what increasingly, particularly younger uh, employees demand, which is a, a larger agenda than just making money every quarter. Um, and then obviously we live in a transparent world. Anything goes wrong on any given day and uh, it's amplified and magnified to a level that we've never seen you know, in history. So you, you have to be clear about what your point of view is and you have to be able to go out and communicate effectively whether things are good or not. Do you think disruption, which is hitting every industry, every company, is compounding the challenges, why people are looking for so much leadership from CEOs these days? They want to know that they have the ability to cope with mass change. That could mean that they're potentially out of business if they don't get it right. Yeah, no, we've, we've I mean, the other big theme this week is about jobs. You know, there's just a sense that the insecurity in a world that's increasingly digitized, where new technologies are going to completely shift uh, what is valued in terms of skill sets going forward, that that creates a lot of anxiety. And the leader of a firm or a country or an institution has to be able to help you know, people cope with those fears and figure out practical things to do about it. And, and I really, I feel that more and more there's a sense now that we have to partner and work together and there is, that will lead to a lot of very positive change. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.